Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to GB Gaming and indeed welcome to episode 3 of the reclamation of New Cardassia. <clears throat> now in the last episode we managed to push forward uh, by a couple of planets. Uh, no massive progress and certainly no massive issues were had. But before we do continue with the next episode, as I've said in the previous two episodes, please take a look in the description below. We have both a Twitter, if you were a Twitter user, uh, that uh, you could follow, and we also have a Twitch channel that we would very much like for our YouTube subscribers to follow so they can interact with us on a live basis. Now, we do plan to uh, have about three streams on a weekly basis, um, generally speaking, in British evening times, but uh, that is subject to a little bit of change depending on what we can and uh, are able to do. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's just bring our UI back up and uh, see where we're at now. In the last, we ended the last episode with the fleet traveling uh, from the Dominion battle site to uh, Thyateria. Yes, Thyateria, which has uh, got a few limited vessels. Now, I always do have a scout around um, of the explored map uh, in order to kind of find out what's going on, um, see if I can see anything of any import. Now, uh, we've found part of the Federation, and um, as you can see, it's got. Uh, Quite an interesting system here, quite a beautiful system actually, with lots and lots of resources. It's a Saturnian planet, which we're going to want to look at in the future, um, and various other planets as well. We can see that they're building up very, very, very well. <laughs> Worryingly well, in fact. And I also noted that there is a Klingon fleet over here. A few Katingas, a couple of Stalkers, a couple of Raptors, uh, Thulra, which is uh, the old L6 class, uh, Deathrite, and two Kavex. No capital ships there, interestingly, but it does mean that they are having a fight. Now, I would presume, therefore, that the Klingons are over in this general direction. With luck, they're facing, they're squaring off against the Federation, which is why they've ignored me so far. I would presume that this is the starting block of what would have been uh, player four in this map. So if I can take this area, it means I'm going to have slightly more than either of the other races to play with from a resource basis. But we really do need to have a think about trying to get these stations. So let's agree to that shipyard and we'll take the Ivas Defence Station as well. And I think that's all we can do for the time being. Oh, I may as well take that. And we're, we're going to take the outpost construction a little bit later on and we'll pop outposts kind of behind our lines. But we really do want the Ivas very very badly so let's continue onwards our ships are going to be taking everything in this system let's see that there's a little bit of damage to some of our vessels our scouts have discovered a new world. and our scouts are continuing onwards <clears throat> I love these Hidekis some lovely alpha damage from them Stations ready. Alright, who's next? Contact you, I think. That and I think our capital ships are both level 5. We've only got two cap ships so far, so that's something uh, that we're going to need to address. Not quite ready to do so quite yet. But as you can see, we've got the capacity to build Gull Madred. Madred is a fantastic uh, hero who's going to be very, very useful. Uh, you may recognize Madred from, uh, Madred from a Next Generation episode where he captures uh, Captain Picard. The old, there are Structure four lights, please. that episode. And we've also got, also got Kenta, who was a uh, antagonist oh, Star in Star Trek technology. Bridge Commander. Um, <clears throat> very, very interesting. Hmm. Or was he bridge commander? He may well actually have been uh, Dominion Wars. Can't remember. Either way, his face was never actually seen, so we've used a random picture here. But uh, And he was beautifully voiced by um, one of the voice actors that volunteered to help us out. Which I'm looking forward to you hearing. You can give me your opinions. As and when <laughs> we do finally get around to it. But perhaps that's something that I should work on I'll now. So... What's, what have we got here? This is... Oh, we've got another Nookji Jukji in our area. What is it? Leave so if we can get a couple of military stations in this particular area, 
and then move on to Karakum, Karakorum. Then that's going to be good. Let's just take a look here and see if there's anything specific that we can do. Uh, may as well take the additional bonus in Tritanium and the level 5 planet. <clears throat> okay. Got what we can here, so let's... Uh, now, we can't get the will of the Founders because we're not members of the Dominion Alliance. Our scientists have developed a new technology. So let's uh, take the industrial addendum. And we're also going to use our ship to colonize or subjugate this world. Anything further in here that we want to take? Shipyard construction isn't quite there yet. But will be soon. I'm sure of it. Another no Novas and Nuchi Juktis coming from this direction. Yes, they're doing some pretty extreme scouting now. We found their home world. We, are yours to command. we have found the home world of the Federation. I've got Starbase 517 up there. That's going to be a tough nut to crack. And we've also found, finally found one of the Klingon. Oh, look, they're advancing. We're going to need more ships. Our scouts have discovered a new world. So let's the grab Union. these ships, move them onto, our, or move them towards our front lines. And also, we are going to take a little bit more command. Technology. Actually, I think I'd like a little bit more command than that, our but I don't think we're in a position to do so. Ooh. Couple of Niagara classes. Awaiting further orders. A hostile fleet has arrived. Engage hostiles. Old Federation vessels. Let's see. Our ah, scouts. they're part of the Maquis fleet. I appear to have lost. There we are. <laughs> Don't know why that happened. Okay. Can they do planet bombing? Doesn't look like they can, which is good for us. Awaiting further orders. Increasing engine output. Yes, this is part of a Maquis fleet. God, look at those. They're such cool ships. They're, they're basically the, uh, the ambassador class with an additional... Um, <clears throat> or at least that's what they originally were, with an additional part to them. You can see that their um, <clears throat> their sources are a little bit different. Having a bit of a wobble there. That's one of the uh, issues that we found. <laughs> All right, let's build what we can. Wow, lots. Our fleet has arrived. What will you have me do? Right, our fleet are coming round. They'll be coming round the mountain when they come. More latinum is required. Gonna need more latinum. Uh, let's just go into the our sales screen. Uh, sell a little bit of this. Sell a little bit of that. And that should do I what we need. Comply. Standing by. Target that vessel. Target that vessel. Right, anything uh, that should concern us at present? No, our probably not. Uh, it might be within our avenue of interests to up start upgrading our defences. Now that we know that the Klingons have come all the way down in this general direction, and the Federation have got a very, very solid block of worlds here. Do we have any scouts still alive? Amazingly, yes. That could be the Klingon homeworld. Uh, KDF Strategic Command. Yes. So there's the Klingon homeworld. There is the Federation homeworld. They must have been fighting out because they haven't expanded nearly as much as I expected. Right. Let's take out these Lion Dara classes. Bye bye, outmoded Federation vessel. Bye bye. Now we'll wait for these little fellows to arrive. My crew stands ready. 
and there we have Gull Madrid. Very cool. <laughs> now, is that a personal skill? No, it's a group skill. Let's take that. And I think, as we have a little bit of money, we will also improve it as far as we can. Pilot, full impulse. Just scouts here. Not a problem so far, but they'll become a problem. Corelli class here. Construction Do they have their T Goko app? Interestingly, I can't see that they've got their T Goko. That's fascinating. Why haven't they built it? Ah, look, the battle station tug hasn't actually done what needs to be done. It's trying to go to a different planet, and therefore the Klingons are vulnerable. That's um, a bit of an AI error, really. Um, unavoidable. Right, let's uh, grab a bit more logistical development. Oh, I'm really glad about that. <laughs> and another military research station. And with that, we should be able to research... Gul Kentar. <clears throat> well, the next couple of things that we want to do is we're going to need Galorious Galores. Let's uh, sell some of our vast Tritanium stocks. Uh, yeah, that'll be about fine. Let's take the Galore, and we will take the Galore for a refit as well. Good. Uh, do we need a Hutet yet? <laughs> Let's research the cooling ore first, because we do need some legates and some archons. Or archons? Archons. Ooh, Tacon Provincial Outposts. Many far-flung province, provinces of the ancient Tacon Empire invested heavily in planetary siege technology, especially when it came became readily apparent that their empire was at its end. The ancient ruins of one of their many provincial outposts have been discovered on the surf surface of our planet. We've studied these ruins and have adapted the advanced siege technology for use in modern warfare. Let's see what it does. Appropriated tech. There's the provincial outpost. Bombing damage taken is much, much better for us. And the bombing survival increase and bombing range increase. Interesting. Construction work is I can't believe that's the first one that we have. What will you have me do? <laughs> Okay, we can't get the, met the metagenic weapon quite yet, so let's have psychological warfare. As you do. How long is our cooldown for Kentar? Quite a while, quite a while. So I think we'll probably want to move forward as soon as Ken as uh, Madrid arrives. Now, we don't need anything in here. Union protection. Let's go for our pragmatic defences and then the Spiral Lance upgrade. We will also take. Now you can see these upper ones, you've got to be a member of the Dominion faction. <clears throat> oh, we need eight military structures. Can we upgrade you any further? No, of course we can't. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? So we could have to take another planet. Come on, Madrid, let's be having you. Construction work is complete. Okay. Ah, oh, they're fighting. Yes. It looks to me like the Klingons and the Federations are having it out. Work is complete. Yes, you can see, look, there's a Phoenix and a Miranda class over here fighting with the Klingons. This has impeded both of their developments. And, and over here as well, look. Technology. This, this Raptor's decided to disappear. It uh, doesn't fancy its chances. In fact, I don't fancy the chances of my, uh, of my Tarim either, but there we are. Beautiful Phoenix class. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> it's unsurprising, really. Right, I think Madrid's arrived. Time is wasting. Time is indeed wasting. Uh, Madrid, you can build. I think we're going to use the metagenic weapon here. What does it do? Target said enemy dreadnoughts, capital ships, frigates, and corvettes must not be self. Yes, well. We'll certainly take your metagenic weapon, you mad lunatic of a... Oh. Go round. What's <laughs> the problem with these large planets? Is they're not very, uh, not very good <laughs> in that respect. Um, 
construction work is complete. Further building I can do with any of these. Oh, why yes. Under the military lab there. Anything further I can do here? No. How about here? Still no. Ah. Oh, we can get more logistics here. Okay. So perhaps some shows social? Yes. Social labs. For the social people. We'll take the spiral lance upgrade as well. <clears throat> and let's improve our ship's hulls. Survivability is key. And Kentar is researching. Ah, lovely, lovely. My crew stands ready. Right, there we go. Everybody's ready to join up. We have now three capital ships, which still isn't very many. But we know where everybody lives. Yes, it looks like they've really hamstrung. Ooh, Class M Paradise Planet. Pretty. But the Klingons might well be on their way to taking this particular area of space, so hopefully they'll continue fighting out amongst themselves and not cause me any issues until I've got yes. into a position where Our I can destroy them. Thank now, God. that is the planet that I want to take very, very badly, this um, Xenophon. And the reason yes, there. that I would like to take that planet is because it's a perfect choke point. Uh, any fleets that want to come to me either have to go through Xenophon or they've got to go through the pirate base, aside from this little metagenic nebula here, which I'm hoping the Federation will ignore. They might not, but uh, we'll see. We, we will see. Right, Kentar has been researched. Let's go for another point here. A uh, little bit more armor. Yes, now they're getting tougher. Our scientists have developed a new technology. Lots of new technology being developed by the magnificent Cardassian Union. Still can't get Kentar. That's okay. In fact, we don't have enough. Uh, don't have enough in the way of capital ship slots. So let's let's rectify that. Construction work is complete. Ah, oh, thank you, scouting vessel. There's nothing here. Construction work is complete. Must be by virtue of the. Um... <laughs> yes, by virtue of that Maki fleet. Our fleet has arrived. There's a quantum singularity in the system as well. At the star. Always a bit of a concern. What will you have me do? Are you take control of this planet. Uh, what's this over here? A, a deep space sector. Nothing much good there, but we, we can move our vessels over. Should we choose to? Uh, this needs to become a bit of a production hub. What are you? You're a grassland planet. The tactical slot shouldn't be too bad on this one. Our scientists have developed All new right. technology. What's this veteran gunnery staff? Well, that's a that's Engage a Klingon. <laughs> Our troops have somebody made a mistake there, and I know who somebody was. Uh, naming no names, it was me. All right, let's think about getting a Titan. And it looks like Kentar has arrived. Let's listen to his voice, shall we? Our scientists have developed a new technology. After I'm done jabbering. To protect the Union, no act is out of bounds. No cost is too great. We are yours to command. Okay, Kentar. Off you go. Move us to the head of the fleet. Not that Let way. Let our people see me. Uh, let's just sell a couple of items. That should do. Grade him to the maximum capacity. Move us to the head of the fleet. Let, Let our, our people, people see me. Fantastic. Our have developed a new Let's get a trade station. Yeah, we're going to need to uh, sell more resources in order to get what we need. But I think that we're doing uh, quite well from this perspective. Our metal reserves are low. <laughs> Work the miners to death if you must. Oh, I thought we were. <laughs> Right. On to the next world. Got more scouts coming our way. Interestingly, Federation scouts. Hmm. <clears throat> Engage warp engines. I'm a little bit surprised I haven't had more trouble in this playthrough because both of the enemy AIs are on hard mode. Um, 
don't really want to put words in Our scientists have developed a new technology. <laughs> in the game's mouth, but it may be that they've been so busy fighting each other, these two AIs. The Union will take its rightful place in the Alpha Quadrant. Move us to the head of the fleet. Let our people see me. <laughs> As you can see, Kentar is a committed unionist. Very, very committed, in fact. Construction work is complete. Right, what's next? Let's, um... Ah, yes, the militaristic legacy is going to allow us to really defend our, uh, our worlds. Especially as we've got some of these now. Let's grab that. Engage warp and engines. we'll also... Well, we can't really sell anything here. 9.6, 12.2, and 40.4. That's not bad for our level of development. I think we're actually making a reasonable amount of dollar. Our scientists have developed a new technology. I wonder where... Oh, look, the wormhole, come, the wormhole comes out here. We're going to need to traverse the wormhole into Federation space. I think that'll be lovely to do. Work is complete. What is it? There's nothing more enjoyable than smashing your enemies. We must respond. Apparently we've come under attack somewhere. Not in any of our worlds. Our scientists have developed a new technology. It must be this world. Ooh. I will personally be commanding all Cardassian vessels during this mission. Let's upgrade that. Awaiting your command. And what can you upgrade? Uh, you can get a better assault team, or a tractor beam, or a spatial mirage field. Let's take that spatial mirage field. Our what does it look like? Oh, it's cool, that. <laughs> I know we didn't need to use it there, but I just wanted to see what the uh, the effect was like. As usual, we're having a, a relatively easy run of the enemy AI. Engage for engines. There we go. That's them gone. And it looks like we're about to colonize the world. Our troops have occupied a new world. Our troops have indeed occupied a new world. My and we're going to do what we do by just continuing directly onwards. Protect the Kentar, union. catch up. No act is out of bounds. No cost is too great. To protect the union, Kentar. Uh, let's take a union doctrine center here and perhaps a social lab. And over here, do we have anything? Uh, we better take another Doctrine Center. I think it might be wise. Haven't quite been able to uh, get to max level. Oh god, we still haven't. Jeeps. <clears throat> I knew this was good, but I didn't know it was that good. Engage warp engines. I'm so surprised that we haven't been attacked. <laughs> Flabbergasted, in fact. I think what we are going to do right you now is we're going to create Our scientists have developed one of these a Miral class constructor do you need a little bit more money so we're gonna let that happen Our scientists have developed a new technology construction work is complete nothing serious in the way of opposition here so we'll let that uh, let that battle occur by itself there we go let's take the Miral I think what we're going to do is we're going to jump the fleet into Engage this system once engines. we've taken the surrounding areas. So, effectively, once we've taken uh, Serov and uh, Tile Azure, we're going to jump in there and we're going to follow up with the morale immediately and start constructing. Um, we are yours to command. There's the morale. Our scientists have developed a new technology. All right, I'm going to need you to go this way. Order confirmed. Yes, very good. New destination. <laughs> Affirmative. Things really want to go through the pirate base. <laughs> but they're not allowed. Construction work is complete. Right, uh, the additional target banks are going to be quite Construction useful. Work um, is Construction work is complete on a number of things. How's our society research going? Uh, looks like we've got all the labs that we need now, so. What do you do? Elite command training. Nothing that I want. 
for the greater glory. Our scientists have developed a new technology. Realizing that the changing fortunes of the Union, the Cardassian people have kindled a relentless fervor and pride in their being, driving them to enhance the prestige and grandeur of our glorious and mighty fleet. Yes, that's what I want. Ooh. The Union will take its rightful place in the Alpha Quadrant. Let's allow you to summon Species 8472 and bring in the siege support, because we're going to need that. Have you not taken the world? What will you have me do? Come on, Set Shaq, what are you doing? Slacking Shaq. There we go. Construction work is complete. It's just a Nova? Yes, it is good. And just a Nookji Jukji, okay. Ooh, we're up to autosave six Our now. Scientists have developed a new technology. We I can see the uh, Our troops have occupied a new world. We have Our occupied have a, new, a new world. Not a nude world. There we are. Let's do our standard and take a trade center. <clears throat> it's critical to they us that we do that. Not stand up to the technology of Cardassia. God, I love Kentar. <laughs> it's just uh, <laughs> very sure of himself, very cocksure. Good. The elite command training, I'm not too concerned about. Don't feel like I need it. Hmm. Don't need anything there. Perhaps a little bit more armor would be good. Ah, it's a Klingon world. The Union will take its rightful place They've the just Alpha taken quadrant. it. They have just taken it. Fire all we have against the target. Yes. Indeed, fire all we have against the target. Construction work is complete. Making 46 a second now. Nice. Let's just take a look at our trade route. Interestingly, it hasn't gone this way. Do we not have trade centers all over the place here? Union Commerce. Oh, we don't have one here. So what we could do is let's build a... Quora class colony ship and uh, we'll pop something down here which allows the extension of our trade routes and by something I mean a null class right did I give you siege support in the alpha quadrant our fleet has arrived as soon as you're down and so you start sieging excellent use it use the ability Construction work is complete He's going to be uh, dropping a siege platform in a moment. Reporting for duty. There it is. Directly in the way of his ship. Where I go, I take the beating heart of all true Cardassians with me. It's evidently in Where your way. Union Let's move you out of the way. I go. Okay. That should go down extremely quickly with the siege support. In fact, he's dropped two now. Show those misguided fools what it means to be the true masters of the Alpha Quadrant. There we have it. The first Klingon colony has Our fallen. And we have occupied their world. That's a hostile fleet. Standing by. A hostile fleet has arrived. <laughs> Not much of a hostile fleet, is it? Ah, uh, the Klingons are sandwiched now. I wonder how they're going to feel about that. Peckish, possibly? Now, where's our Mirage? Construction crew standing by. New destination. In fact, let's move the Mirage to this world. Um, uh, hmm. Order confirmed. Right, go here. Go here for the moment. I cannot comply. Right, 
let's get you one of those. And we're also definitively going to need probably two Doctor Incentors here. Standing by. Um, Moving. What's this? Interesting. Why is there a colony frigate coming here? Is it going to unpack a station? Uh, as they've shown that they can come this way, let's build some defences. Should be enough. Nova classes, Nova classes, not a problem. Construction work is complete. Yeah, I really don't know what that colony frigate is doing there. Now, this will be wanted as a production hub, didn't we? So let's uh, let's facilitate that. Good. Okay, so let's get some frigate yards and a capital yard. Two frigate yards, I think. And why not two capital yards? It would be foolish not to. It would be uncardassian. But, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've probably reached about half an hour mark, so I will pause. And the war will commence in the next episode against the Klingons. Uh, I hope, as always, that you've enjoyed what you've seen. If you have, comment, let me know what I'm doing right, let me know what I'm doing wrong. You've probably, well, a lot of you have probably played Star Trek Armada 3, so you can tell me if I'm not very good at the game, which I'm sure you will. Um... And, of course, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video to show me that you're enjoying the content. And for now, this is The Gull, out.